I'm Noelle Miratori, I'm 24 years old, and I've been training jiu-jitsu for a year and a half. Congenital myasthenic syndrome is a neurological disorder where the muscles and the nerves don't communicate with each other, so um, signals are being sent uh, to get the muscles moving, but um, it's getting sort of lost in translation. So the muscles are good, the nerves are good, the transmission is bad. So, you know, growing up, we weren't really sure what Noelle had. What we, what we knew was that she, it was some sort of muscle weakness. And so what that meant growing up is that, you know, she couldn't run around like the other kids. Um, even going on family walks, she, you know, she had to be carried or in a stroller. Um, and just wasn't be able to, wasn't able to be as active as other kids. The biggest challenges absolutely are anything stand up. Um, there's obviously things on the ground too that are challenging for me, um, but stand up anything is hard. Just to kind of put things in perspective and how um, this has impacted her daily life, doing little things like walking to the grocery store or walking inside the grocery store or even Walking down the aisle on my wedding day, um, Noelle could not walk down the aisle on my wedding. You know, she was in my wedding and her muscle weakness was so severe that she could not walk down the aisle. And then fast forward to today, and she just got her blue belt in Jiu Jitsu. Like, we're all amazed with how far she's overcome. I decided to go with Capital MMA because it was the only gym that didn't make me feel like I was a charity case being brought on and I, I never felt different. Uh, I felt like I was starting at the same level as any other person. Um, I didn't feel like I was being, like I had special treatment or anything like that. Yeah, so she messaged me over a year ago, interested in taking Jiu Jitsu classes. But she was concerned because she has a neurological disorder called CMS. And I did my best to encourage her to come on in because jujitsu is truly for everyone. I want everybody to feel safe and comfortable. Um, and it's adaptive. We can adapt the environment to each individual's needs. And I started uh, looking for gyms in 2016. Um, and I had spoken with some and people, I think I would explain my story the same way. And people would respond and kind of, I've had some people say, oh, like maybe you shouldn't uh, try it. Um, but when I spoke with Jeremy, I said the exact same thing. And he was really encouraging. And so that made me feel comfortable to come in. And from the moment I stepped in here, I just felt like I was a part of the team and I never felt like a charity case. She has good days and bad days. And if you're kind of aware of her CMS, you can see her good days and bad days. Um, but even so, even on her bad day, she's still coming in and training. Like, she really is extremely resilient and uh, has, an, has an incredible passion for, for jujitsu. I met Noelle uh, a year ago. She walked into the gym and um, I remember her standing in the corner, kind of looking at the class and being completely amazed and confused at the same time. She had this expression like, wow, I want to do this. I want to understand it. But at the same time, she had a look of fear, like, can I do it? So I introduced myself to her and we just started to roll and we just, our relationship just blossomed from there. Oh, she's amazing. Like, you know, like every white belt. She came in not knowing anything, and she's under 100 pounds. So you've got a, a you know a 98 pound female with no experience and a neurological disorder, and at this point, a year into the just over a year into training, she's actually a beast. Like when she gets on top of you, you feel pressure. You don't feel 98 pounds. You feel 198 pounds. Um, when she's uh, and her guard game, like she has a superpower, her flexibility is insane. So she's able to pull off some really slick moves, and she, her learning curve has been uh, accelerated. So she's pulling off a lot of excellent jujitsu moves, you know, omoplatas and goga platas, and you know, fun, flavorful stuff that her body type just kind of falls into. I only wanted her to have the best and a normal life, and she, you know, she's a firecracker, um, and I think. She made up for a lot of her, um, I don't want to call it a disability, but her muscle weakness through her 
personality. And so she is, she is one to always kind of keep me in check. Um, I'm the older sister, but she's the one that kind of bosses me around. The improvement in my fitness level since starting at Capital MMA is like night and day um, because before I pretty much didn't do anything. I mean, I tried to work out a little bit, but now I would actually describe myself as like a, an active person. Well, I mean, I think another thing that I noticed in her was just um, she's gotten into killer shape um, and just watching her take down people twice her size on the mats has been, I'm just like, wow, that's my little sister on the mats right there doing all that and seeing her win um, matches, you know, I mean, it's just surreal. Like we, we take this all for granted. I mean, just a couple years ago, like I said, she couldn't even walk down the aisle to my wedding. And, you know, I recently had a baby who was pretty big, um, he's a big guy. And a couple years ago, there's no way in hell she could carry him. And now she's off, you know, he's on her hip all the time you know, carry around this 25 pound baby, um, like it's nothing. And just a few short years ago, that would have never been possible. I wanted to compete in the in-house, honestly, just to test what I knew. Um, and I thought it would be fun, a, like a little competition, especially it's just here at our school, so it wasn't as much pressure. I won my first match and I was like, wow, okay. Like I never competed in any sort of sport in my entire life. Like no soccer, t-ball, like as a kid, like literally nothing. So to go from that to like winning something like that, I was like, I don't know, I was shocked. Not, I wasn't shocked because I, I felt prepared. I felt like I prepared myself well enough to give myself a chance, but I never expected to really win. So, and then since then, the competing taught me a lot about um, things I needed to work on. So since the in-house, I've actually improved a lot, just in certain things that I really, things weren't clicking, like maybe triangles. And now I find myself like getting them more. And I think it's from competing. I think the thing that we can all learn from Noelle's story is that there are no excuses in life. So you can, you can have a bad hand dealt to you and at any moment. So any one of us at any time can, you know, fall victim to a terrible thing. A stroke that leaves you half paralyzed, a car accident that leaves you completely paralyzed. Something that happens to you that you can use as a reason not to be a part of life, you know, of everything that, that, that life has available to us. Um, because you're bitter, you're resentful, you're, you're, you're frustrated, you're angry. Um, Noelle got dealt a bad hand and yet she makes no excuses. She's here, she's training, she's happy, even on her bad days. When I think about Noelle's story, it's one of overcoming obstacles. It's, it's about not giving up, not quitting. It's about trying things even though you may fail, even though they may be uncomfortable. If you focus and if you dedicate yourself, there's nothing you can't do. This girl came in here having not been able to function, use her legs properly for the majority of her life. And now she's putting guys that are 200 pounds in, in triangles. Tell me, I can't. It's ridiculous. We can all do anything we set our minds to. Jiu-Jitsu has shown me that I can be strong and I'm capable of, de of defending myself despite my size or disability or any sort of factor. Um, it's made me more equal. It's made me feel safer uh, to go places alone, or it's, just, it's made me more confident and it's shown, showed me what I am capable of and I'm capable of a lot more than I thought. One thing that um, I'd want people to understand is that uh, I'm not cured uh, with having CMS, I still have it. The medication has changed my life um, and it's allowed me to pretty much blend in with society but it's still something I deal with every single day. Um, and there are days where I'll come in and it's hard to walk into the building. It's hard to stand in class. You have to have above anything else, mental strength and a good attitude. Um, and that's honestly all that really matters. It's a mental game more than anything. And one of my favorite quotes has always been, fall down seven times, stand up eight. And I live by that literally, but also figuratively, because it, honestly, it's all in your attitude. 
And I would have told you that back when I was leaning over the bathtub to be able to brush my teeth because I couldn't stand up at the sink, or when my biggest accomplishment for the day was walking back to my room from the shower instead of crawling, I would have told you that because honestly, if you have a good attitude, you're, you're golden.